All right, what's up, DVW fam? So we're currently in Glendale, Los Angeles right now at the newly opened Fuji Buffet for another installment in our best buffets in Los Angeles segment where we tour LA to find some comparable buffets to Las Vegas. And this buffet has 150 items. They even have seafood and crab legs. So there's a lot of food to be had. Let's go uh, check out the Fuji Buffet. You know how we do on Danvers World. We're gonna go from one end to one end and show you guys all their 150 items. Let's go. All right, DVW fam, want to remind you guys to please smash that like button if you guys love the video and also hit that red subscribe button down below. It really help me and the channel out a lot. It costs nothing and takes less than two seconds. So subscribe and yeah, back to the video. All right, so this like looks like the salad options. Seaweed salad, I don't know what this is. Some squid salad, clam salad, edamame. This looks like some eel. Uh, I'm not sure. Some salmon poke, it's a good offering for a buffet. Tuna sushi, sashimi, looks like some tilapia. Eel sushi, octopus sushi. I'm free balling this guys because they don't have the labels on all of them. Shrimp sushi, octopus, salmon nigiri, tuna nigiri, shrimp nigiri. Um, yeah, they just opened about two hours ago. So yeah, um, still looks pretty neat. Cleanliness is a big deal for a buffet. So there are some baked salmon rolls, California rolls, Spicy tuna, some more interesting rolls, hot night rolls. Uh, the key is there's a lot of rolls here. So shrimp love roll, Alaska roll, dragon roll, vegetable roll, Tobiko. Got all the toppings right here, but a pretty large assortment of sushi, I would say about like 15 or so offerings. All right, so let's keep on going. We got the black fungus salad, cucumber salad, tofu salad, some boiled eggs here. Looks like some more Asian items. I would categorize this as an Asian buffet. There's a lot of Asian items. Um, Fuji sounds Japanese itself, so. Got the baked mussels right here. Some octopus, cocktail shrimp, lemon. Got an assortment of condiments here. Sriracha, of course. We are at an Asian buffet, like I said. Ooh, some fried dumplings. Looks like gyozas, fried rice. Some chop, looks like some uh, mayonnaise shrimp, walnut shrimp, some stir-fried mushrooms, sauteed green beans, kung pao chicken, black pepper beef, sesame chicken, uh, broccoli beef. Got a big tub of rice right here, white rice. Uh, got some salt pepper shrimp with the shell still attached. Looks like some fried crab, garlic crab, sauteed shrimp, fried Squid, salt pepper squid, looks like some calamari. Got some crawfish, seafood boil right here. Got some whole shrimp with a little butter sauce. Here, this looks grand. Looks like some oysters, some clams, some baked mussels, baked salmon, pork ribs, some, oh, it looks like some frog legs right here. Sweet and sour fish. Oh, some prime ribs too, so some American options. Got some pizza and whew, one of my favorite areas at a buffet, the dim sum. Shout out to Asian Go, let, let the light dim sum right here. Sumai, chicken feet, taro bun, spare ribs, pork bun. So a lot of people come to this buffet just for this. The steamed crab legs right here. Very comparable to a Vegas buffet. So look, there's the crab legs. I'm gonna try it out for you guys. See how fresh and delicious it is. Got some miso soup, clam chowder, hot and sour soup, fish soup, egg drop soup. Whew, I'm getting hungry just going through this. Haven't ate all day. Some corn on the cob, egg rolls, garlic bread. Gotta skip the garlic bread. You don't go to a buffet for garlic bread. Some chicken nuggets. It kind of looks like McDonald's chicken nuggets. Look at this. Some fried plantains, french fries, fried chicken wings, and some sesame bowls.
Guys, so this is something really unique here at the Fuji Buffet. And oh, to being in Los Angeles, you know, Korea town is in LA and there's a lot of great Korean food. There are Korean barbecue items here that they cook fresh on the grill. It actually looks really good. Looks like some pork ribs, some galibi ribs, some LA galibi. And yeah, so that looks awesome. Let's try it out. All right, so we're gonna build our, you know, grill plates right here. Let's see what we wanna put on this. So I want some uh, zucchini, some bell peppers. Yeah. Or a little bit of broccoli, just one. Keep the doctor away. Some onions. Stay away from the bean, bean sprouts. Some mushrooms right here. Oh, so this is the pork ribs, so. Man, I don't think I've seen something like this at a buffet before, so. Some pork ribs. There's some shrimp back there. Grab a few. Oh, so I love these right here. Look at this right here, huge, thick, galibi ribs. Oh man, I'm gonna load up on this. Looks bomb. So some chicken, I usually stay away from that, and I love me some udon. I throw some udon action on here. Yeah. Stuff in this plate. And then once you have your plate right here, this is my go-to. Give it to, oh, sorry about that. Right here, the chef. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we got our chef here whipping up my plate of Korean barbecue. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. All right. Freshly cooked plate right here. Look at this. Sheesh. Oh, this smells amazing. Wow. So our plate's right here. Looks like an amazing spread. All my favorite dishes that I saw. What's the grub? Alright DVW fam, so we got the goodies here at Fuji Buffet. This is my spread right here. All the things that kind of stood off to me from the first round. So we got your dim sum, chicken feet, bows, sumai, spare ribs. We got the Korean barbecue right here. This is crazy. Um, don't see many real Korean barbecues at buffets. Got the shellfish, oysters, clams, mussels, some more shellfish, the crab leg, the crab legs not. All buffets have this, especially around Southern California, so very Vegas-esque. Some uh, like Chinese style, you know, stir-fried crab. Got some garlic shrimp and your sushi. But um, honestly, this buffet looks really clean, so I'll give it like a 10 out of 10 for cleanliness. Um, they did just open at four. We got here around like five, so yeah, keep that in mind. It's a Wednesday right now. Has a good amount of people here, so. Yeah, still, it's pretty clean, but it is, you know, a buffet, so I'm a little bit, you know, nervous about buffet sushi, so we got some uh, sake to kind of wash down some of the raw fish, so, you know what, let's kind of try this out first, so, there's poke, tuna poke, and salmon poke right here, let's try this out first, oh, so I kind of already have like a sauce for us, mm. sesame oil on here, has like a little bit of sesame oil taste. I would add a little bit of soy sauce to this. Let's try tuna. 
Mm. Oh yeah, tuna is a little bit more, has more of a chew to it. This is actually, for buffet standards, it's pretty good sashimi. Mm-hmm. All right. So, we got some nigiri right here. I always like to drown these in soy sauce. I'm gonna pour a little bit of soy sauce all over here. All right. I know some of you guys are gonna hate me for this. Usually I dip it in the soy sauce dipper, but didn't want to wait for it. So let's try some of this sashimi, nigiri. Mm. Try some of the salmon right here. Honestly, it's Fuji, but Fuji buffet. Pretty sure it's like a Japanese or Asian type of buffet, so. Guys, sushi is done right here for buffet standard. The sashimi, I mean, it tastes fresh to me. It doesn't really have any like fish o fishy odor to it. So, for bu buffet standards, the nigiri and sashimi, 10 out of 10. So, let's try this right here. Got a Philly roll. I don't know why I really love cream cheese in my sushi. Mm. Solid sushi plate. Mm -hmm. Look at this right here. I've been really excited to try this plate, the stir fry Korean barbecue plate. Got your udon right here. Mm. Nice, thick, slippery, not too salty, which I like. Got my zucchini, you know, your broccoli. Usually at buffets, there's like a Mongolian grill station. And this is kind of like that, except they have galbi ribs. Let's try this, look at this, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Guys, for buffet standards, they're thick. The marinade is actually pretty solid too. It's not too sweet, not too salty. A little bit of that, you know, Korean barbecue sweet marinade, but ooh. Mm. One of the best, you know, Mongolian grill stations. You know what I mean? Like tepanyaki type Korean barbecue station at Buffet I've had. Another 10 out of 10. We're going, we're having a great start here at Fuji Buffet. Man, this is really good, especially for the value. $32 for a weekday dinner. Fuego. Mm. Mm. Oh, so I got some um, pork chops too. Mm -hmm. Nice grill to it, but the key is the marinade. It's perfect. Mm. Really good. Well, oh, I got a little shrimp in here too. Let's try this out. Fuego. All right, so they have some hot sake here too. So let's take some of this to wash down all the food. Whew. Yeah. Palate cleanse for more buffet items. But yeah, guys, they also have some drink deals here. Two, I think I saw like a 50% off of the sake during certain hours. So yeah, if you guys want some beverages with your food, there's some deals here too to go with the, I would categorize this as cheap eats. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This one's real tasty. Let's 
so here's my dim sum plate here. I love my dim sum. Oh, I wonder what this is. It's like a little present for us. Uh, should be like a like an Asian or Chinese tamale type item right here. So it's nice and gift wrapped for us. Let's see, it has like a leaf wrapping paper. Ooh, okay. Oh, so some glutinous sticky rice. I wonder if it's savory or sweet. Oh, so it looks like some red bean. I've had uh, something similar to this in Vietnamese cuisine, but let's try this one out. Mm, mm -hmm. It's sweet. So it is like, I think it's banana leaf or taro leaf. But, um, oh yeah, the rice is nice and glutinous, sticky, and there's some sweet red bean. So this is like a sweet. So let's try uh, some exotic items for some. This is the chicken feet right here. Look at this, guys. Look at their toenails. This chicken feet looks beautiful, like I just got a pedicure. Let's try it out. Mm. So if you guys haven't had chicken feet, it's basically all cartilage, you want to gnaw on the toes. Yeah, it's all about the marinade on it and uh, how much meat or cartilage is on the chicken feet. This is pretty average chicken feet, but for a buffet. I'm very impressed. I'll give us like a solid eight out of 10. Chicken feet is not my favorite dim sum, but I had to try it for you guys. Mm. All right, so let's try this bao. Let's see what's in here. I believe it was a taro bao. Let me use my right here. Oh, okay, so it's a baked pork bun. Right here. Look at this. Gotta remove the wrapping before you dim some noobs right here. All right. Look at this. All right, let's try it out. Mm. Wow, I'm very biased. This is one of my favorite items, but I'm thoroughly impressed by this buffet already. You know, the bao itself, the steamed bun, the white part is 11 out of 10. It's really bouncy, moist. The inside meat could use a little bit more flavor. I give the pork itself like an 8 out of 10, but overall 9 out of 10 for this right here. Mm. It's not dry. Dim sum done right. It was in those dim sum cartridges so it's nice and steamed fresh and hot fuego mm. mm -hmm. all right let's try this um spare ribs right here so how you do this is you just you just pop it in your mouth and mm. Like a mini pork rib but yeah really moist fall off the bone good but yeah for buffet standards it's these dim sum items a1 9 out of 10 for this could use a little bit more flavor but can't complain we're at a buffet so yeah oh another one of my favorite items the shumai right here look at this so the pork meatball sometimes there's shrimp in it but this one looks like it has no shrimp i'm gonna add some soy sauce right here Look at that. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Dim sum is nice and fresh. This one is on the meatball-y side. There's not as much shrimp in here. There's no shrimp at all, actually. But it's the glue in this shell on the outside. Really spongy, love the texture. Buffet standards, 8.5 out of 10, shimai. All right, so last but not least, what is this right here? It looks like a surprise. There's some, you know, more baked items. I don't know what this one is. So let's see what's inside of here. Looks like a little custard bun. Mmm. Mmm. I know 
know what this is. It's like a dessert item. There's like egg yolk inside the century. Egg yolk, but shell is nice and spongy. It's a dessert bowl. Give it a solid nine out of 10. Pretty solid. Mm. All right, you ready for these crab legs right here? Look at this. Oh man. So they're pretty um, solid in size right here. Say so they're medium to large. Let's take a little piece of the juices right here. Okay. All right, crack this open. Okay. I'm very bad at this, by the way. <laughs> Let me do another one. Ah, okay. Not the best, but we got something. Let's try this little crab leg right here. Okay. Honestly, compared to all the rest of the delicious food, this is definitely a low light. It's pretty bland. It's not, it doesn't have like that sweet crab flavor but you know you put some lemon salt and pepper or whatever condiments you want there and it spruces it up a bit but it doesn't really have like a bad odor to it it's just not the sweetest so this wouldn't be my go-to dish here but the fact that they have it for $31.99 is a great sign so let's try out some more food got some baked muscle action right here let's try this out Ooh, look at this see that Mm -hmm. mm. Pretty fresh muscle with all that baked, you know, torch mayo on top. Actually, I let it sit a little bit, so give it like a 8 out of 10 for buffet standards. Everything I'm giving you guys are buffet standard DVW scores. All right, DVW fam, so 150 items on the menu, can't try everything, but these are some of the things that stuck out to me. And you know there's always gonna be those people at the buffets that say, don't fill your stomach with, you know, fillers, like Chinese food items like this. But to those people I say, shut up. Uh, I love items like this and when I see them on the menu, can't resist it. So we got our Chinese plate right here. We got the mayo shrimp, we got some Kung Pao shrimp, or Kung Pao chicken, orange chicken, Mongolian beef, some stir fried shrimp. Um, there's actually a wide assortment of Chinese food items here. We got a steamed dumpling right here, some fried rice, got some sweet and sour soup right here, and some french fries. So, love my finger foods, can munch on them all day. Nice and crunchy. Wow. Let's try our Chinese food plate right here. We got the mayo walnut shrimp. Mm. Mayo-y and shrimpy. I love the fry on here, the crunch. Mm. Some chow mein. Mm. Nice and slippery. Let's try some of this Kung Pao chicken. Some of this orange chicken right here. Mm -hmm. Can use the marinade. I mean, we are at a buffet, can't have it all. You tell it's been sitting out a little bit, the fries not as crispy, but the flavor is there, the sauces is nice and sweet, not too overbearing. So it's the black pepper beef right here. So they have some real authentic Chinese food items right here. Black pepper steak. Ooh. Yeah. Like I was saying about the sauces, they made this right. Real peppery, a little bit sweet. I love this item at, you know, family style Chinese restaurants. The pepper beef. Mm -hmm. okay. Try some of this stir fry shrimp. Mm. Fresh just pops in your mouth. Let me try some of this right here though. The fried rice, the guilty pleasure right here. 
like I said, some people always say, don't fill yourself with fillers, but I love fillers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's a nice authentic fries to this fried rice. The Asian food here is done right. It is an Asian buffet, so it would be a shame if it isn't done right, but this whole Chinese food plate, give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 DVW score. Ooh. I take some of this pan fried dumpling right here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's wash things down with this sweet and sour soup before we head to dessert. nice thick consistency this is on like the hot and sweet and sour side it's more spicy than sweet but yes yeah, Chinese food Japanese food the, especially the Korean barbecue that was my favorite thing here Korean barbecue all the Asian food 8.5 out of 10 above for sure but the Korean barbecue 9 out of 10 DVW for for buffet the Asian food here is a must all right, no matter how full you are, there's always room for dessert. So, we got some ice cream right here, some fruit. Mm -hmm. I always gotta cleanse your palate with some sweets, but yeah guys, that is our experience here at the Fuji Buffet. Weekday dinner buffet, 31.99. DVW score for this spot, I gave that solid 9.3 out of 10 because of the value. That Korean barbecue was fire, and you know, so many dishes here. Great all-around experience. Very buffet was very tidy, but yeah, the only bad thing is that it's not closer to where I live. It's all the way in Glendale, Los Angeles, but one of the you know better Southern California buffets I've been to. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below any recommendations for us and subscribe for more DVW food and travel vlogs. Deuces.